And there's Daisy. <laughs> Hi! I love you! <laughs> <laughs> Daisy really loves you. <laughs> You're gonna cry. Good morning from the Riviera. Mm -hmm. It's early in the morning because we're going to Topolino's for breakfast. Mm -hmm. The character breakfast to see Mickey. Mickey. So yeah. Let's go. I'm tired. <laughs> I need some I need some caffeine or something. Good thing I have fun. Good. Here's our view from Topolino's Terrace. See that the Skyliner is rolling. And off in the distance, Hollywood Studios and Batu. And way off in the distance is Animal Kingdom, where we will be tomorrow. So we have our seat and our digital menu. Mm -hmm. And you'll see they actually have plastic barriers in between the booths. This give you that physical barrier between the other party. There's Mickey! <laughs> hey Mickey! <laughs> he liked your ears. I know. <laughs> so what is, that's the uh, ink, and paint ink and paint collection. <laughs> we also got some really tasty looking pastries. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to see Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm taking these off because I'm having a pastry. Okay. Alright, it looks like a chocolate chip muffin. <laughs> so I got the Mickey chocolate chip muffin. I just realized Jen got the mini one, but she already oh, ate I didn't it. Even know that. You already ate it. You know what? <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> what else is in here? Anything good? Other pastries, yeah. Oh, and you got like a strawberry jam and yeah, some butter. butter. Yeah. It reminds me of Animator's palette. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Mini. She's a poet. Oh, <laughs> Hi, Mini. Oh my God, she's so cute. Look at those shoes. <laughs> hey. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> your your ears are getting all the attention right now. <laughs> Bye, Minnie. <laughs> oh, looks like the next one's gonna be Donald. Oh, he's a sculptor. Our sculptor in residence, Signore Donald Duck. Donald, the sculptor. <laughs> hey, Donald. <laughs> so, Jen and I got the sour cream waffles. And you could've got bacon, sausage, or plant-based sausage, or ham. Or ham. So we opted to go with the bacon option. It's really good. <laughs> and there's Daisy. <laughs> Hi! I love you! <laughs> <laughs> Daisy really loves you. <laughs> You're gonna cry. We're gonna sing a song for you. <laughs> Mini Donald. <laughs> <laughs>
Daisy again. <laughs> yep, that was a pretty good meal. So check out this cool postcard that they gave us. And it's got all their signatures on the back since they can't give signatures right now. And according to the cast member, they weren't doing this before all this global stuff happened. So this is kind of a keepsake. Definitely gonna have to keep this. Huh, fun on the Riviera. So Jen, what did you think of Topolino's breakfast? It was really good. Yeah. The characters like were awesome. Mm -hmm. And that orange whipped cream, I just want a whole thing of it. And just... <laughs> yeah, the, the whipped cream on top of the waffle was like an orange flavored whipped cream. Oh it was God, actually it was really good. Delicious. Yeah, it was really good. And then the characters, they did a good job of making the characters seem like they were up close even though they weren't allowed to. So. And they were constantly out. Yeah, like constantly one after like... the other after the other. So I think that makes up for the the off chance that you may not be able to get a picture with them. Yeah. Here we are, back at the room, overlooking the beautiful, beautiful lagoon of Caribbean Beach and the Riviera Resort. It's nice. So Jen, do you want to explain the entry process? So it's cool. oh, it was like yeah. the check-in and all that? Yeah, so you check in on your phone. Yeah. And then once you're checked in, they take your temperature with the little uh, laser temperature check thermometer. That's the word. Um, and then you just stand in the lobby. And then literally five, not even five minutes later, we, we had our, seated. our... It makes sense that they check your temperature. Yeah. Because if you think about it, when you're staying on property, there is no temperature check. No, yeah, which like surprised me. Like you get at the theme parks. I'm surprised when you stay here that they don't check. And you have to take your mask off yeah. to eat. So they want to make sure that you don't have a fever before you take your mask off. And some would say, well, Disney Springs, you take your mask off, it's not a theme park. But they also do your temperature check yeah. when you go to Disney Springs. So it's kind of a loophole that they close. So I think we're going to head downstairs, go to the shop, and actually get some merchandise. I know we've talked about it. Yeah. We've looked at the options. I think now we're gonna go ahead and uh, make a few purchases. 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 <laughs> Before, uh, this is about the halfway point of our trip now. It's about the halfway point. Too fast. It's going by pretty quick. And then maybe go down by the pool for a little bit. Yeah. You good with that? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. So, let's go down to the lobby. You know which one you're getting? Um, I think I wanna get the bag. You wanna get the bag? I think. Yeah. Yeah? Mm hmm You could take that yeah. down to the pool. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how much stuff we have to take to the pool, though. <laughs> well, Jen, what did you get? A bag. A beach bag that says Riviera on yeah. it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and my with, other beach bag is kind of falling apart. So. And with the annual pass discount, it's 30% off. Yeah. Which is a steal. Steal, steal, steal. <laughs> So Jen got this really cool Riviera bag, which you saw her modeling in the hallway. Yeah, I really like it. It's embroidered. It's really nice. And then it's got this, which is very nice. Zipper. And pockets. Oh, yeah. But then we got other stuff. So I'll show you my stuff first. I got this mug here. I got the mug that changes. That's cool. Changes color. So it's before and then after. So it'll change with fireworks and then during the day. Just gotta wake up. <laughs> and then I also got this Riviera patch. That's cool. For my jacket. And it's iron on, so that's cool. And then I also, where's my pin? I guess there's a theme here. I like the Mickey and Minnie stuff. Yeah, it's the same pattern that's on the mug. And the patch. And the patch. And the you patch. got the same pattern for all three items. I love it. It's <laughs> cute. And then I got the Skyliner pin because we rode the Skyliner as a resort guest for the first time on our way to studios yesterday. Pretty cool. 
So I got this pin with Dapper Mickey on it, and it's French for Joy of Living, which makes sense because the Riviera Resort is themed to the European Riviera. So French, Italian, all that good stuff. Also, one of the things I like to do is collect pins at the resorts that I stay at. I mean, I collect pins in general, but now I've got a pin to commemorate the time I stayed at the Riviera. I also got this really cool polo shirt that says Disney Riviera Resort, a DVC club. I'm not a part of the DVC, but I love the Riviera. I think it might actually be my favorite Disney resort. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not entirely certain, but it, it might be actually, it, it might be. Okay, so I think we're gonna go down there and enjoy some pool time. Hopefully before the storms come. We're supposed to get some afternoon thunderstorms and actually it kind of looks like it right over there off in the horizon. So let's go down to the pool and enjoy some pool time before the rain moves in. So we're gonna switch to the GoPro. Now, here we are. Look at that view. What a nice small pool. So the cast member came over here and said that as long as you're within the gates of the pool, you can have your mask off, but the second you walk outside, you have to put your mask on. And also, when you're done, entirely done with the pool, you lay your seat down all the way, and that lets them know they need to disinfect it. Jen, how's the pool? It's nice, you should come in. Okay. <laughs> Interestingly enough, the pool water comes right up to the edge. It's kind of like a sloped, and then it goes into the pool. It's weird. I wonder if that's a European style. It's definitely a drain, right? Oh, it's a drain? You can, I can hear it. Oh, it's a drain. Yeah, it's a drain. Interesting. Hmm. So I guess that layer right there is a drain. Huh. Yeah, it's a good point. It is. It's a drain. And that's something. It's an infinity pool to nowhere. <laughs> it is odd. It's like slam. It reminds me of like they were trying to go for like those beaches resort like yeah. commercials. But like there's not the view with it. Yeah. Like you can't see like okay here. You just get to see a thunderstorm. No, but from this <laughs> angle you just see chairs. Like it's not like that view yeah. that, like the infinity pool that everyone yeah. raves about. Yeah. So that storm behind me looks pretty vicious. So I don't know how much longer we'll be at the pool until it closes, because it will more than likely close with that. <laughs> and that's why I'm in now. <laughs> yeah, but we'll, we'll definitely, it, it sh looks like it's going to pass through, and then we'll hang out a little bit longer at the pool, get some pool time. We'll go to the other one. Yeah, i got to go to the, the family pool. On second thought, I think we're going <sighs> to leave, because that's not looking any better over there. And they said it's not closed yet, but it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> So we'll go seek shelter for a little bit, let this pass, and then hit up the other pool on the other side. Yeah, those are some mean looking clouds. Best be heading back to the room. So here we are leaving the hotel room a second time today. I've kind of lost count. We've come up to the room several times. Um, storms passed. It's actually very nice out. So I think we're gonna go down and try attempt number two near the pool side. Yeah. Or maybe lakeside. Maybe we'll hang out by the lake. Yeah. And watch the Skyliners go by. Okay. Yeah. All right, we opted to set up shop on these two chairs right here where we get to take our masks off because it's inside of a pool. We get a nice view of the skyliner and the sunset. I got some towels straight ahead. You can see that I'm rocking my new Riviera polo. It's a very relaxing day. I got the sunset right there. And I'm actually going to place an order right now for dinner on the mobile phone so we can go pick it up at the 
Primo Piatto, right behind me. It's pretty awesome. Pretty nice. Just watching the Skyliners zoom by. And it's not too hot. It's 80 degrees after that rain. So definitely cooled off. Perfect day to relax. Yep, it's shaping up to be a nice sunset this evening. Poolside. Well, there we go. Our order is ready. So now I'm going to go pick up the food and bring it back. Right. Thank you. <laughs> All right, for dinner, I got a cheddar burger, which is huge. And I had the choice of fries, but instead I got tomato soup with croutons. There we go. And then, Jen, you got, what did you get, Jen? I got a salad. What kind of salad? Um, I think it was the grilled Caesar salad. I see there's chicken in there. Yeah, I added chicken, and then there's the dressing on the side, which is nice. Nice. So it looks really good. I was feeling like kind of overly bread yesterday so yeah. bread and sausage yesterday yeah so i uh, went a little bit healthier so today okay. is eating dinner by the pool by the pool side yeah. with a nice sunset yeah it's nice this evening is too nice to not take a quick stroll around the lake but I think what I want to do is ride the Skyliner over to Caribbean and then walk from Caribbean back. Yeah. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, it'll be nice. It's yeah. nice out. I'm a bit chilly actually. Yeah. <laughs> so let's let's ride the Skyliner and then we're gonna walk back and maybe get a sweet treat to round we out the had anything. No, I know. We need what is a our problem? we need a sweet treat to round out our night. We could either do the muffin or like a little sweet treat bakery item from Le Petit Cafe. Or we can do gelato, so. I haven't decided yet. We'll walk around first. We'll uh, walk before we eat all the calories. Yes, <laughs> before we consume calories. And then uh, we'll see what we're in the mood for. Look how beautiful that sunset is. And the lovely Skyliner. That's what we're gonna ride all the way over to Caribbean and then walk back. It's a beautiful evening. It's always so nice after a storm. It was a decent long one, so it... Cooled everything down. We are on the Skyliner. It's chilly. Yeah, there's a lot of air movement going through oh those vents gosh. right now. Oh, look at the sun. Look, as evidenced by your hair. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> oh wow, look at that sunset. Oops. Wow, isn't that cool? That is pretty We're cool. in one of those wrapped gondolas, so it's not as crystal clear. Wait, do we have a character on We do. I don't know what. I'm not sure. But we're passing over Caribbean. Caribbean Beach. And once we get down, we're going to walk the whole way back. They recently redid Old Port Royale at Disney Caribbean. You want to go check it out? Yeah. Like the whole like lobby area there? Are we going to walk by it? Yeah, we'll walk by it. Oh. Yeah, then yeah. Okay. okay. Welcome to the Here islands we of come. Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We also refilled our resort refillable mugs with this orange time lemonade. with orange lemonade. With a, with a little dash of Coke because I didn't clean it out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so this will keep us hydrated on our way back. Yeah. All right, we're coming in for a landing. Here we go. So if you're ready for a total nerd fact about the Skyliner, they store the Skyliners when they're not being used here at the Caribbean Beach uh, hub, if you want to call it that, on that side and that side. There's Hollywood Studios going that way. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out how they get the Skyliners off this line and this line into their resting areas over there. And then I, I looked a little bit harder and saw that they have this little, it looks like a garage door with a track. So what they do is once they're ready to take them off the line, like this is the Pop Century line, if they want to take them off the line, they just take them on that little spur route there, 
through the little garage door looking thing and then it goes out into the waiting area right over there and then they also have one on this side too which is way over there pretty neat i've always been a sucker for how technology and operations and stuff like that work so i found that kind of interesting it was actually a question i had like how did they get them off the line and into the waiting area over in, on the Hollywood studio side, but oh, the yeah. thing we figured out earlier yeah, yeah. about the line. Pretty cool. Yeah, I learned a lot about the Skyliner because I just <laughs> can't conceptualize how it works. <laughs> so there's that. What a beautiful evening. So I have to say, Jen, the Skyliner is growing on. Yeah, I think so too. It's growing on me. I didn't want to admit it because it just seems... The last time we rode the Skyliner, we were not the greatest fans of the Skyliner. No, we weren't. Because it stopped frequently. However, I noticed since we've been using it as a resort guest... It hasn't stopped like It hasn't all. stopped for once. long periods of time. Yeah. I mean, it has its moments where it slows down, but it doesn't stop for an extended length of time and also the other concern we had remember if you go back and watch that video one of the concerns we had was that it would in the heat of summer it would still be too hot in the cabins even with the airflow that has not been the case no yeah it's very cool i don't there. know how it works and does that and makes it cool magic yeah so i i'm it's growing on me i like it it's convenient in a weird way the fact that they're not cramming a bunch of families in each one. Oh, that helps. That helps. Each party gets their own cabin. That makes it so much more enjoyable yeah. and more intimate. Um, it's moving up in my books. It is. Yeah, it is. Very pretty. Hey, check out that rainbow over the Caribbean beach pool right off to the side of the Caribbean beach pool is this place called Caribbean K. And neither Jen and I know what it is. We're gonna go explore. Well, it appears it is a playground and it's currently closed. But it looks more like a sand pit. Hmm. Okay, so it is a playground. But it's closed. Yep. <laughs> it is currently closed. This sign says this area is for your enjoyment from sunrise to sunset. Except nope. it's not for our enjoyment this evening. Never. It's too bad because it's a nice sunset. Yeah, I'm not sure what's over here. Looks like huts. There's like huts over there, tiki huts. See? Oh, yeah. Interesting. If you know, comment down below because I need to know. Yeah, I'm curious what this is. Hmm. Well. Somewhat anticlimactic. Very anticlimactic. <laughs> Let's go back over there and go check out old Port Royale's refurbishment. Okay. It yeah. looks like they're blowing up a TV screen. It's a movie night. It's movie night on Caribbean K. Wonder what they're showing. I don't know. I know ours is Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's what they're using this for right now. Yeah. Interesting. 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 Or maybe I'm making it more interesting than it really is. <laughs> All right, we are heading into the old Port Royal lobby, which is the main lobby for Caribbean Beach. It has changed since the last time I've been here. Oh, wow. I like it. Oh, it smells like coconut in here. Very vibrant coconut smell. That's cool. Oh, this is a nice addition. And then there's the check-in desk. I like it. Calypso Trading Post. So Jen brought it to my attention that they now have extra large face masks. But it's only in the Mickey one. Like right all now it looks ones. like, yeah. yeah. But that's a new one. It's tie-dye Mickey. Oh yeah, tie-dye Mickey. Only in medium. Interesting. I have to say it's a very big layout. Don't know how much of this is new and how much was here before the refurb. But it definitely looks different. I see something new. What do you see? These mugs. Oh, those are interesting. They're like... They're $14.99. Huh. 
Oh Most yeah, you're magic. right. Most magic. Look at that bowl. The bowl is $17.99. Is this some, like the most magical collection? Is I guess. Is? It's got like Pluto. But it's weird not seeing them with the white in their eyes. Donald. Yeah, I don't know how I feel. Mickey. And they got a salt and pepper shaker set too. Oh yeah. And plates. You know who they're missing again? Chippendale. Chippendale. <laughs> Come on guys. I have to say, I do like it. And I guess that's the food area over there. I guess that's the food area over here. It does take place in all the order. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to go back there, but that definitely looks like where you go to get food. You might remember what that looked like. You put a picture in. It's definitely an improvement, I would say, over what was here before. And I don't remember this outdoor patio. Maybe that's new as well. A lot of people don't realize that Caribbean Beach is 31 years old, so That's definitely, cool. definitely needed a refurb. But yeah. they did a good job back there. Wow, look at that sunset. Uh -huh. Almost wish I was on the Skyliner now. Oh, I know, it'd be a great view of the right. Skyliner now. And check out the Riviera, the beautiful Riviera Resort. Turned out just like the concept art did many years ago. Oh, is that a... That looks like a birdhouse. Check out the birdhouse. It's almost like a bird condo. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that. The things you notice. When you have time to notice them. Yes, exactly. Alright, we are back at the Riviera after our lap around the lagoon. Check out this really cool kids play area. <laughs> Look at the line for the slide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? There's a big line for the slide up there. That's pretty cool. They got like little water guns you can squirt your friends with. Oh, and it spills or, over. How or, fun. Everybody. Now, something we didn't really mention the other night is how unique this tile mosaic is, it's yeah. pretty awesome. If you look at it, it's, they've got Tangled, Peter Pan. Yeah. I mean, there's, they're pretty amazing mosa art mosaics. I mean, the amount of detail that they put in this is absolutely incredible. They even have Tiger Lily's Village. Wow. And Peter Pan's ship as it's flying by, which is really cool. Yeah. I don't see Skull Rock though. That would have been cool. Yeah. All right, sweet treats have been acquired. We got the lemon cheesecake. Yeah, here's the top view. Oh, oh. it's kind of nasty. And then you got vanilla, vanilla chocolate, chocolate chunk cup. gelato. And for $5, that thing is tiny. Hopefully yeah. it's good. I hope so. So Jen, how was that sweet treat? It was really sweet. Yeah. The really lemon sweet. lemon was really good. Yeah. No, gelato wasn't bad. It was just. A it didn't little... taste like gelato. It tasted like really good ice cream. Yeah. But that lemon cheesecake was like something from the cruise line. It was. Good. Yeah. It wasn't too tart. It wasn't too. No. Yeah. So I think that's gonna wrap up our evening. I head back up to the room because I have to edit day one of this entire staycation so that it's ready for you guys on Friday <laughs> when it drops so I've got to go to work and while I'm on vacation yeah she's got to so. go do school and I got to work while I'm on vacation so fun <laughs> if you like that video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and tomorrow is Animal Kingdom Day yeah How exciting stay tuned for that if you want to join our adventures tell them what to do make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell to become a super subscriber <laughs> Till next time. See you real, See you real soon. soon.